The streets of central Barcelona strewn with debris after days of violent unrest. Locals are left to survey the damage. Like many here, Myra says she wants independence for Catalonia, but not at any cost. There were thousands and thousands of people that I've never seen in that street. Really radical people, all covered. Uh, I was not identified. Uh, I'm independent and uh, I was not identified with that, with that kind of people that I, I was seeing on the street. Adria Alzina has worked with the pro-independence Catalan National Assembly in the past and he's helped organize the peaceful demonstrations during the day. He says many frustrated protesters feel they haven't been heard. The message that Europe has been sending to uh, Catalans is that they've been cheering up for uh, violent demonstrations such as in Hong Kong. So they didn't really care whether demonstrations were violent or non-violent. So apparently there's a set, there's a part of the pro-independence movement that has uh, decided that it's more efficient to start uh, resorting to different ways of uh, mobilization. There's another similarity to the movement in Hong Kong, the use of the encrypted messaging app Telegram to organize acts of civil disobedience. Political science professor Enrique Lujan has been researching how a new secretive group called Democratic Tsunami has been using the app to share instructions with protesters. What's quite new uh, about Telegram is that for the first time you can join a protest or you can join a channel without letting others know your phone number. So from the point of view of strate strategy, it's really good because uh, the state is, is not able to know who is following that Telegram account and who is involved. Which also means protesters never know who they're receiving instructions from. The movement has no clear figureheads. With nine separatist leaders now behind bars, the independence movement finds itself largely rudderless, with few visible faces to tell angry demonstrators what's acceptable and what's not. That means the violence and destruction on the streets of Barcelona over the past week could worsen.